Hi guys and welcome to this short review video on Forged Terrain. Now you know I don't do many reviews because, uh, well quite simply, I don't ask companies to send me their stuff because I will be very honest with it um, and I don't, you know, I don't want to slag anybody off for making stuff and you know, if they're going to send you stuff, they kind of expect a good review and I'm, I'm not that sort of person so if it, I'm not going to tell Wargames to buy stuff if, if I wouldn't buy it myself, um, even if I get it for free. Now, with this particular terrain, the pieces here that you see, I actually won these in a uh, competition at our club. It was a Dragon Rampant competition. And I won six games out of six and was the winner of the tournament. Um, and I actually, you know, managed to bring this little beauty home, which I'm really pleased with. It's quite nice to win something. I don't normally win wargaming competitions, although I am, you know, probably the most amazing wargame in the world. I'm joking. Um, so, yeah. I haven't been asked by Forge Terrain to do a review. They don't even know I'm doing a review. So, you know, it's not something that um, they've sort of sent me stuff or anything. I've actually genuinely won this in the competition. But I decided to do a review on it uh, because it's mine and I own it. So therefore I can review it. That's my justification for doing the review. And also to let you guys know, you know, about this company and what they're like and what I actually think of them. Um, now I've laid it out on my painting table, which isn't ideal because it's very messy. But I've actually got loads of pictures of the competition where this terrain was used, um, and I'll I'll be show you those as I'm talking. So it's 3D printed, and I know people go, "Oh, 3D printed terrain, not too keen on it." Is there still people out there that, that think like that? Um, the, to me, 3D printed stuff is going to be the future of the hobby. However, that ends up and evolves, I'm not sure, but that's the way the world is going now. Um, so, it, you know, there's a few companies springing up doing it. And uh, there's always been this big concern about, you know, the, the finish of the models and whether people like them. You can see from these, the way they're painted and stuff, um, and the way they've turned out, I think that they're actually cracking. Um, they're very light because they're made from sort of PLA, I would imagine. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure exactly what the company uses, but some some sort of substance like that. Um, and what I really like about them, right, is quite simply, I can just show you these. It's all this. It's all this open stuff, you know. Look at the, look at the windows, look. The detail inside. It's a ready-made building, ready to go. All you've got to do is paint it. It's light, easy to transport, um, and the price is, is really competitive. I've been on their website and I've had a look. Um, what, these are all modular, they all fit together. Now, this was actually painted by a guy in our a club, an um, associate member of our club called Bernard, um, who uh, runs uh, a Bold Bear painting studio. Um, you can look him up. I'll put the link in the description of the video. Uh, and yeah, you can see he's a talented painter. He's good. He's, he's good at what he does. So, you know, this is painted to a, a great standard. But this just can just show you what you can get out of these models. I mean, you know, if you if you take something like this, this tower here, for instance, you know, no one is going to tell me that that is not absolutely spectacular. You know, that's just that's just good painting technique on an already good model. That's the point. You know, and this is like I say, this is completely three D printed. So, you know, three D prints are coming on strong in this country. Um, so, I don't own this. I don't owe this company anything. They don't know I'm doing this review. It is just a review for me because I I own this because I want it, and I just wanted to let you guys know what I think of it. Um, it's modular. Luckily, Bernard painted it in slightly a slight colour scheme, so that each building is slightly different to help me put it back together. I'd probably glue some of these smaller pieces together, for instance. You know, I'd probably glue that that roof onto there. Um, but look, look, look at the window. Look, you've got a lead light in the window. That's just you know, you just don't get that in resin models now, do you? You know, and I've got some of the best resin models. I've I've gone to some of the best companies for resin models. I do I do love the resin models. Don't get me wrong, but this stuff is amazing. Um, it's Forge Terrain's website. They show figures. I haven't got any of their figures. Um, I think there's a guy in the club who's got some. I'll try and get hold of them do a review on their figures for you. Um, I've been on their website and the prices, I think the prices are fine. I, th I think they're very competitive um, and the range of buildings is, is fantastic. I really want to get my hands on some of their, um, I think they're what they have added vehicles and stuff because we do like zombie games and then futuristic zombie games. So I'm going to try and get my hands on some of their abandoned vehicles. If I can, I'll paint them up uh, to, to a great standard and maybe do a review on them um but no listen if you're looking for terrain that is different 
that is detailed um you know this is like proper detailed stuff you know uh frost grave uh, any kind of fantasy setting we even well, let's not put it on there properly we even use this for um wars of the roses for destroyed buildings because they are all pretty much generic you know they're not completely fan fantastical buildings um and you can see in the video in the, in the pictures i'm showing you now these 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 are wars of the roses battles we've used them in and they just look great they just look really great so um yeah quality wise price wise um I, I think it's a, a really good company so that's forged terrain um, give them a look you know we've got to support these companies um and tell me what you think leave some comments and stuff in the um in the comments below um if you like the video subscribe i will do more reviews um hopefully companies will want me to look at some of their stuff um but anything that, that i buy because i own it i feel i can review it good or bad and you know me i'm gonna i'm gonna be very honest with my reviews but as far as forged terrain goes and War Games Guru goes, it's a thumbs up for me. Thanks for watching. See you next time.